Hello, my friends. Dan Spiegel here and just wanted to give a little re U.S. Open recap. Uh, boy, what a day at Marion today. Um, the conditions were obviously brutal. Uh, I believe Graham McDowell mentioned on Twitter that if the USGA got the conditions that they wanted, which would have been dry and fast, uh, the course would have been impossible. It would have been unplayable. The winner might have been 10, 12, 15 over. I mean, that would have been so ridiculous. So obviously, Marion won. It held the test. Uh, with all the bad weather and everything else, it still showed that it's probably one of the hardest golf courses in the country. But going to Phil Mickelson, boy, oh boy, what a, what an enigma this guy is. He has all the talent in the world, the short game of, of just from the gods, and he just can't get it done in the U.S. Open. His sixth second uh, finish in the, um, in the U.S. Open, I can't believe he's been the runner-up. Uh, six times. It's just amazing. And as he said after the round today, this was his best chance. I mean, he had it. When he when he knocked it in for eagle from 74 yards or whatever on number 10, uh, it looked like the, it was almost like it was destiny. But um, the wedge shots that he hit, for a guy who's known for his wedges, the wedge shots on 13 and 15, I, I mean, I cannot believe how bad they were. And uh, I know that, you know, there's pressure and everything else. But this guy's won the Masters three times. He's won a PGA. He, he, that's what he lives for, to be in that moment. And I can't believe how bad those wet shots were. And that ultimately cost him the tournament. Um, I feel for him. You know, it's his birthday. It's Father's Day. He's a family man. And uh, it would have been such a great win for him. And I know that we're all pulling for him. I mean, if you dislike Phil Mickelson, then there's got to be some other reason besides what you see. Because he's just a class act all the way around. And uh, congrats to Justin Rose. A uh, great champion, well deserved. Uh, you know, he he burst onto the scene at the British Open when he was 17 years old, holding out that wedge shot on 18 uh, on the last day. Just an incredible player, and uh, this has been a long time coming. Justin Rose is another great ambassador for the game. Uh, obviously, otherworldly talented. He's going to have many more wins in his future, and he's very well deserved. This has been this has been coming for a long time, but really, it's about Phil and Phil. You know, he's going to have more wins in his future. He still hasn't lost any distance. He played all week with a three-wood, didn't take the driver. He didn't even put the driver in his bag and still came up short just a little bit. And of all things, it was his short game and his wedge game that let him down. So, um, you know, it's another sad day for Phil. It's, uh, it's For Phil fans, this is excruciating. Um, if he had never won a major before, this would be really painful, right? This would be really painful. But... Uh, Thankfully for him, he's got four majors under his belt. So he'll be back and he'll keep kicking. You know, he just turned 43 and uh, he's got many good years uh, left in front of him. But uh, great, another great uh, sporting event. Uh, the U.S. Open and the Masters, to me, are, are two of the greatest events in, in sports. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this post. Feel free to comment below. And, uh, and also my uh, Facebook link is below. So if, uh, connect with me on my Facebook uh, golf page. And I'd be happy to uh, share some more insight, golf tips, and things like that with you. Okay? Thanks so much. I'm Dan Spiegel. I will see you next time.